Okay, hello and we should be back now. And uh, this is part two of my modded playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. And like I said last time, we're about to clear Prim of all these nasty little convicts who are running around. Now and things will be a little bit different because I did have to come back from the Gene Skydiving Center because I forgot to save before I quit the game last time. Jesus. Lovely. That was sneaky. It's got to be done. We have to have the uh, sexy cowboy hat on. I'm not sure why it does that, but it does it when I'm in sneak. Puts the uh, gun to the other side. Okay, this is the uh, the Casalt revolver. For anyone who's wondering. And uh, it's very powerful for a handgun. Oh no, that was a that was all skill. That was completely what I intended to do. find the merchant. There's normally a merchant in here before you get him over to his actual house. I don't there know he what is. It was. Okay, he's got 500 caps. So we'll uh, we'll sell him what we can. Which might just be about everything. Obviously, I'll be buying what I can off him as well. Okay, there's bound to be something else we can sell. Well, nothing yet, but we're about to get more stuff from the main... I suppose you could call them the main group of the uh, escaped convicts. Not to be confused with powder gangers. They are pretty much exactly the same, but they are actually two different factions. Although, it's a bit of a stretch to call escaped convicts a faction. They're kind of like raiders. They don't really care who you are or who you're with. And it looks like I uh, did okay picking luck. Because I seem to be getting a lot of critical hits. Oh, I like that gun, the SIG. Oh, sweet, a pistol scope. I wonder if that works on the Beretta or the SIG. Nope. So wait, it won't work on the SIG, but it will on the Beretta. Well then, I think I'm going to mod my Beretta. And then I'm going to repair it with the SIG. That looks weird, I wish I didn't do it. Oh, well, it's on there now. Has he got a laser rifle? I'm going to admit I was expecting a bit more of an effect when I shot that guy in the chest. Looks like headshots do much more damage than they used to. I'm going to be a little bit more selective with what I'm picking up now. Oh, I leveled up. Put my lockpick up some more. I want to get my lockpick to 50 and then I'll work on some other stuff. Yeah, this guy had a laser rifle. Oh yeah, sideways walking. Michael Jackson's got nothing on my moonwalk. I 
hate having an itchy head when I'm recording because it always seems to be right behind there, your phone where I can't reach. I think I'm going to switch over to my assault revolver with it having more power. There's a deputy Corgi. Oh, hopefully that just killed Deputy Beagle, because I really do hate him. Take a stim pack quickly. I really should have them hotkey to something. But honestly, I'm not that... Wait, is hardcore mode still on? Okay, so apparently now it's a hardcore playthrough. I'm not sure why hardcore mode was off, to be honest, unless I misclicked at the start and put hardcore mode off. Oh, that guy's got a shotgun. And an eye patch! I want it! Oh. Son of Widowmaker. Where's his eye patch? I do like that, um, people carry gun mods now, I do like that. Let's see, does it actually look any different? Why can't I turn the camera? Yeah, it does, you can see the little two little chokes on the end. Well, that's pretty awesome. Now then, Deputy Dickface. Don't much care that I lost karma. I really, really hate that guy. Ah, yeah, I'll have your stim pack. And your purified water. I was wondering. Excuse me again. I'd been wondering why I hadn't needed any uh, sleep or food up until now. I suppose we just figured it out. I never really bother with uh, Nuka Cola. It gives you thirst instead of taking it away, if I remember rightly. Sneaky. Oh! That looks painful. Oh, doctor's back, lovely. I'm gonna need that, seeing as that's the only thing that can heal cripple. heal myself if I get crippled. I know what I meant. It's much easier to get crippled at the start of the game than it is anywhere else. It's got to be done. Let's see if this works. It does. I'm wearing goggles. Hell yes. Damn, there's a lot of people up here. This looks awesome. Don't try and deny it. Hi, dude. Whoa. Have I mentioned I like this shotgun yet? I'm not going to bother taking the stuff that's not worth anything. Was it this door I wanted to open? No. What was that? This one? Yes. Oh, we got the danger signs flashing. Oh, hi. I missed! Hit. 
That went well. Did they all run down there? Aha. Apparently not. I really, really like the shotgun. So are they like running around or what? Oh, there he is. Don't break. Sweet. I just realised I haven't really said anything uh, commentatory. Just kind of been talking to myself. Oh well. It's kind of the whole point of let's playing. I don't really want to sit and talk about uh, the mechanics of the game and the storyline and such because I'm sure you are all bored of hearing about that by now. I just want to kind of play and have you tag along with me. I've got to stay in first person view because these goggles look awesome. And no, I don't care about wasting ammo. I enjoy it. Okay, so let's repair my Beretta one more time with the other Beretta. Ah, the Colt. Got no months for it. This is your basic standard replacement for the 10 milli pistol. Sounds pretty nice. Pretty decent gun. But not my favourite. I mean, apparently I can't repair a crowbar. Interesting. This is what the SIG looks like for anyone who is wondering. This was uh, my favourite gun for quite a while. And it looks pretty badass there as well. It looks all like dinky. And then you shoot someone with it and the face explodes. And then you get all happy inside. Or I do at least. I'm not really sure about you. I'm always happy inside when I blow someone's face off. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Um. Well. Okay, how do I progress the story now that Beagle's dead? Hey, youngster. Hey, I've got to talk to him about this. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have I think once I'm out of prim, I'll start. Uh, you know, letting the dialogue go. Uh. Well, I guess you're going to have to find us a new lawman. I suggest talking to the. Okay. And then we're going to leave this douche where he is and we're going to go talk to the NCR guy. In our spiffy looking goggles. Yum. Okay. That's enough of that. And that is a very weird looking 9mm pistol now. Oh well. Like I said, we'll basically be following the basic storyline arc until I get to uh, where I'm going to be setting up my town for real-time settler. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the new...
I know some people actually, I've seen, actually, now that I think about it, this could make an okay village here, it's pretty flat, and I will already have the NCR protecting us. Let me get prims right there, I don't really want to be building a town right on top of a town. I mean, I've got a specific place in mind for uh, building my town. I could build my town up there as well. It's plenty of flat space. I'm just eager to uh, get started because I've never actually played the real-time settler mod before. Or never passed the first couple of buildings anyway. But, I mean look, flat space everywhere. It's not very often you see that. And there's trees. Because I'm pretty sure you need trees. If you're on the proper mode for it. Sneaky sneaky. How did that miss? There we go. That other guy didn't notice and then he got his face shot off by some of the uh, other enemies in the game. Now in this HSI Mauser, least damage out of all the 9mm but apparently it fires quite quickly so... I think I am actually going to, uh, I know there's a grenade hotkey, but I didn't pay attention to what it was. So I'm going to whack on some of this dynamite. Where's the, there he is. We've got a 12.7 milli pistol. That's crazy. I cripple you. There we go. And that's why I love fighting powder gangers. They give you nice prizes. And now I'm gonna go up and get that guy's 12.7 milli pistol. Oh god, if he had that, what are these gonna have? Yeah, a normal jackal gang member, or a jackal gang veteran, sorry, had raider armor and a 12.7 pistol. The leader has trousers, a tank top, and a crowbar. Definitely didn't get there by being intelligent, that's for sure. I've got you now. Come on! What the hell gun is that? That's a cowboy repeater. This guy's just blowing me away. There we go, he's dead. Lovely. Apparently I blew up a feral ghoul as well. Or he shot the feral ghoul. And as always we're going to duck into the uh, the highway patrol station. I think everybody ducks into this place. The hell is that guy using? I need to get outside, like now. There's a lot more people in there than I'm used to there being. What the hell is that guy using? Okay, where's my dynamite? Oh wait, he's got a fucking flamethrower thing. Can't even really use dynamite against that. That was a 10 milli, I wanted the 12.7. That was insane. Now what the hell did you have? Flame or pistol? 
Well, I really shouldn't be surprised. I've seen him with a pistol shooting me with fire. But how the hell does that work? Let's have a look at it. Oh, I see. I see. I don't understand, but I see. Yeah, hey. That is the only way to kill a Mantis. 44 Magnum rounds. Why have you got them and no Magnum? Yeah, yeah, cattle prod. Awesome. Purified water, that's always nice. Healing powder, bit of drink. And it will take the dirty water for now. You gotta love that crunch when you land on a madness. There's no better feeling. A uh, lockpick to 50. And then, what else do I want up? Medicine, definitely. And we'll take educated. Which, if I remember rightly, is the one that uh, gives you a couple extra points when you level up. That was a silent star cap and some knuckle dusters. So I didn't really give that chance to uh, turn up there. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Hey, that's normal. Wizard of Oz is awesome. I know there's feral ghouls all over up there. But I'm not sure what the feral ghouls are like in the world of pain. I do quite like the fact that I've got these goggles on it. It looks awesome. I know you get different effects for um, power armor and the elite ranger armor. So I'm quite interested to see how that's going to turn out. I mean, just about everything is harder to kill now. 9mm pistol does nothing. That might be because of my gun skill, though. I'd rather not fight stuff I don't have to. Like I said, this is pretty far from a blind let's play. I do know quite a, quite a few of the uh, little stashes that are in the game. But Fallout is definitely a game that rewards you for exploring doesn't necessarily punish you for staying put but it, it's definitely a game that rewards people who explore. I'm going to take this helmet off now there's the Mojave outpost you better run Shut up, that counts as a victory. And uh, in the last video, someone asked what point of view I'm on, POV. Um, this one, the standard one. And it might seem a little bit zoomed in. Uh, because it's on a very small window. And so I might have clipped the sides off a little bit. When I set the recording thing. That's my theory, I'm sticking to it. We're off to 
to see the traitor in this place, or uh, as I like to call her, Wenchy McBitchface. Because she always sounds pissed off. New face in the outpost. Take a look. See, she, she's always pissed off. I'll take a doctor's bag. First, let's see how much I can get for what I've got. That's an okay selection of weapons so far. Or at least I like to think so. I think I'll be uh, keeping all of that apart from the gecko meat. I don't need that. I don't need the gecko hides or the gecko eggs. I always keep all of my ammo. Lovely. Do you what ammo was it I need again? 0.47. I don't suppose you happen to carry 0.47. Nope. Apparently that that must be a rare kind of ammo or something. I don't know. But we earned 500. And while I remember, we're going to repair our leather leather armor. Like I said, this is just to get myself some uh, XP, level up, that kind of thing. If people want, I could turn it into a kind of montage and just show bits and pieces. Hello. Caravan, citizen. Just need something for the logbook. Keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him... Keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. Prim? These units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? Well, uh, like I said, I'm letting them talk now. We can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. I see the wisdom in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. So apparently if you don't like your orders or you think you can do something better, uh, just ask, just get a stranger to walk in, suggest something better. Military orders don't matter. No such thing as the chain of command anymore. God love the Mojave Wasteland. I know there's been uh, rumors and release videos for Fallout 4 for ages now. A lot of them are hoaxes. Wait, I just, I'd say at least 99% of them are hoaxes. Um, I don't think there's been anything official by Bethesda yet. Hopefully it is Bethesda that's making Fallout 4. I can't see them leaving the series here though. There's still a lot more they could do with it. I mean, you've got 50 states in America, and you've got the rest of the world as well. I would like to see one in, like, the UK or somewhere in Europe. Because we've seen what's happened to America, but we haven't seen how Europe uh, is doing after the yeah. nukes fell. Yeah, I just got word of that. There's a squad of rangers standing by. Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff, and the rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. Roger. I'll radio them over now. Lovely. So that's uh, the Prim episode done. I think we'll... I'll tab out now. There we go. Wait, now where the hell's my mouse gone? Uh -huh. So apparently this is going to mess up every time I want to uh, stop the recording. Well, I suppose it could be worse. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.